These court sketches show the man accused of stabbing three people at a Chinatown festival Sunday at his first court appearance on Friday. 64-year-old Blair Evan Donnelly was charged with three counts of aggravated assault in relation to the stabbing at the Light Up Chinatown Festival. That Sunday, Vancouver police say he was out on a day pass from a forensic psychiatric center. Three people were injured in the attack. One criminal defense lawyer says Donnelly's release is an anomaly because the BC Review Board system is usually thorough. And the Mental Health Review Board is composed of three people. Um, it'll be a psychiatrist, it'll be a member of the community, and it'll be a member of from a legal perspective. And they will review all the evidence to see whether the individual has met the criteria for um, some sort of uh, for anything, really, whatever treatment plan they think is best. Rishi Gill says the director of the psychiatric center decides who gets released and whether it's supervised. He says those in custody for homicide are given even more scrutiny. Clearly there is a failure here, and that needs to be examined, and you'd have to look at, again, the decision of the review board and the how the director uses discretion, what evidence they had. An April BC review board report said Donnelly was a significant threat and needed significant supervision. In 2006, Donnelly stabbed his 16-year-old daughter to death in Kitimat, but was found not criminally responsible because of a mental disorder. He was later charged in two other assault with a weapon cases. The latest charges against Donnelly have not been proven in a court of law. Now, Premier David Eby has appointed former Abbotsford Police Chief Bob Rich to investigate the board's decision to let him out on a day pass last week. When I read it, uh, it seems to clearly conclude that this man was a significant risk, shouldn't be released. And yet somehow between that decision and the events in Chinatown, uh, this individual was in fact released into our community. And that is exactly uh, what I want Mr. Rich to dig into. How is that possible? This week, the Premier said he was white-hot angry about what happened and asked if there were other people with similar mental health conditions also out on day passes. But Gill says the review system works, and this was a rare occurrence. The stats do not support anything to, to give the community fear, okay? Concern is one thing, but fear, no. And hysteria, um, anger to the extent that the Premier is trying to foment, no, that's just not appropriate, and it's not going to help the situation. The Premier says Rich is getting started on the investigation into the review board right away. In Vancouver, Sarah Chu, City News.